एस ए जयराज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सेकेंडरी एंड हायर सेकेंडरी सेक्शन साइंस स्ट्रीम आई एम सर्विंग इन दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर द लास्ट थर्टी टू ईयर्स आई एम टीचिंग मैथ्स इन स्टैंडर्ड टेन टूडे माई टॉपिक इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ट्रिग्नोमेट्री is useful for someone who is standing around 100 meters away from a hill he can find the length of the hill or height of the hill without going and measuring literally the height for someone who is in the sea wants to know the height of lighthouse he can do the same thing trigonometry is derived from the greek words tri means three gon means sides metron means measurement measurement of three sides in that way it is about triangle let us take triangle abc in triangle abc angle b is right angle if b is right angle the side opposite to right angle is hypotenuse if b is right angle other two angles are acute angles any one of the acute angles will call theta a greek alphabet so let us take angle c as theta for theta ab is the opposite side let us call x for theta bc is the adjacent side let us call y and hypotenuse ac is taken as r now three basic trigonometric ratios are there first one is sin theta in short we will write sin sin theta is opposite side upon hypotenuse that is ab upon ac that is x upon r the second one is cosine theta in short we will write cos theta adjacent side upon hypotenuse that is bc upon ac y upon r tangent theta in short we will write tan theta opposite side upon adjacent side ab upon bc x upon y now other three trigonometric ratios are cosecant theta in short we will write cosec theta is a inverse of sin theta namely hypotenuse upon opposite side that is ac upon ab r upon x same way cosecant theta afterwards secant theta in short sec theta is hypotenuse upon adjacent side ac upon bc r upon y same way cotangent theta is the reciprocal of tan theta 
in short we write cot theta adjacent side upon opposite side that is bc upon ab that is y upon x now as is no cosec theta is 1 upon sin theta therefore sin theta into cosec theta is 1 sec theta is 1 upon cos theta therefore cos theta into sec theta is 1 cot theta is 1 upon tan theta therefore tan theta into cot theta is 1 now sin theta divided by cos theta sin theta is x upon r cos theta is y upon r x upon r multiplied by r upon y because the fraction in the denominator will be upside down rr cancel x upon y that is tan theta therefore sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta now cos theta upon sin theta y upon r upon x upon r y upon r r upon x r r cancel y upon x that is cot theta therefore cos theta upon sin theta is cot theta now in triangle abc angle b is right angle so we can apply pythagoras theorem what is pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse is sum of squares of other two sides therefore ab square plus bc square is ac square that is x square plus y square is r square as r square is not equal to 0 because hypotenuse will never be 0 therefore its square also will not be 0 x square upon r square y square upon r square r square upon r square because it is not equal to 0 we can divide the equation by r square therefore x upon r whole square y upon r whole square r square upon r square is 1 and we know that x upon r is sin theta therefore sin square theta y upon r is cos theta therefore cos square theta is 1 sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 is the fundamental identity of trigonometry this is the fundamental identity of trigonometry we know sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 from here sin square theta can be written 1 minus cos square theta or cos square theta can be written 1 minus sin square theta these we can apply in the sums now we can derive other identities also we know sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 
now divide by sin squared theta everywhere so sin squared theta upon sin squared theta cos squared theta upon sin squared theta 1 upon sin squared theta this is 1 now cos upon sin as we know is cot squared theta 1 upon sin squared is cosec squared theta therefore we can write down cot squared theta can be written cosec squared theta minus 1 or cosec squared minus cot squared theta is 1 this is another identity of trigonometry again we know sin squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1 now divide by cos squared theta sin squared theta upon cos squared theta cos squared theta upon cos squared theta 1 upon cos squared theta sin squared theta upon cos squared theta is tan squared theta cos squared theta upon cos squared theta is 1 1 upon cos squared theta is sec squared theta that is tan squared theta can be written sec squared theta minus 1 or sec squared theta minus tan squared theta is 1 it is also another identity of trigonometry these identities will be useful in solving the sums and problems now what we have seen today is what is trigonometry the main trigonometric ratios relation between different trigonometric ratios fundamental identity of trigonometry and the derived identities of trigonometry in a lighter note in my experience as we have solved sums we used to apply the formula and most of the formula children used to answer but one particular boy used to answer one particular formula correctly that was sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta I asked him why is it like that this particular formula you are answering correctly and the rest you are not he said sir I see baat hai wo rita wo rita tere paapne mujhe bhot pita sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta so I still remember how the children can remember the formula like this.